historic record of the test explosion. A mushroom cloud half a century ago has helped clear up a vital medical question. Can the heart make new cells and repair itself? This is one of those important studies that is going to change the way that we think for a very long time. Scientists solve the mystery by going back in time. Until it was banned in 1963, nuclear weapons testing above ground produced slightly radioactive carbon dioxide gas all over the planet. It entered the food chain. So if you were alive then, the radioactive material ended up in your DNA. Today's study found that over time, the amount of radioactive carbon in the heart decreases, suggesting old muscle cells are being replaced by new ones. Researchers estimate that by the time you reach 50, almost half the muscle cells in your heart have been replaced. Typically, you don't, after a heart attack, you don't see the repair. This huge mass spectrometer at the Lawrence Livermore Labs in California enabled scientists to measure the extraordinarily tiny amounts of radioactivity, not thought to be harmful, that are present in people born before 1963. Over the next five years, 10 years, we'll be able to reset our approaches to heart disease. One new approach may be in treating heart attacks. When its blood supply is cut off, heart muscle dies, and the scarred segment no longer beats normally. If the heart can make new cells on its own, there may be ways to accelerate that process and speed up healing. It was the first man-made explosion of atomic energy. From the era of the mushroom cloud, an unexpected silver lining. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.